Good evening. The name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, today we celebrate the Thursday within the active, active of Easter. As we are in the Easter week, in today's Gospel, Jesus says, Peace be with you, and you are the witnesses of all things. So Jesus' apostles, disciples, they became witnesses, and we are also called to be witnesses of our Lord Jesus Christ. Let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Kyrie eleison Christi eleison Almighty God, how mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us lift up our voice and say, Gloria. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us, you take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us, for you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray, O God, who have united the many nations in confessing your name, grant that those reborn in the font of baptism may be born in the faith of their heart and the homage of their deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. As the crippled man who had been cured clung to Peter and John, all the people hurried in amazement toward them in the portico called Solomon's Portico. When Peter saw this, he addressed the people, You children of Israel, why are you amazed at this? And why do you look so intently at us? as if we had made him walk by our own power or piety. The God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, the God of our fathers has glorified his servant Jesus, whom you handed over and denied in Pilate's presence. When he had decided to listen, you denied the Holy and righteous one, and as that murderer be released to you. The author of life you put to death, but God raised him from the dead. Of this we are witnesses. And by faith in his name, this man whom you see and know 
his name has made strong. And the faith that comes through it has given him this perfect health in the presence of all of you. Now I know, brothers and sisters, that you acted out of ignorance, just as your leaders did. But God has thus brought to fulfillment what he had announced beforehand through the mouth of all the prophets, that is, Christ would suffer. Repent, therefore, and be converted, that your sins may be wiped away, and that the Lord may grant you times of refreshment, and send you the Christ already appointed for you, Jesus, whom heaven must receive until the times of universal restoration, of which God spoke through the mouth of his holy prophets from afore. For Moses said, A prophet like me will the law, your God, raise up for you from among your own kin. To him you shall listen in all that he may say to you. Everyone who does not listen to that prophet will be cut off from the people. Moreover, all the prophets who spoke from Samuel and those afterwards also announced these days. You are the children of the prophets and of the covenant that God made with your ancestors when he said to Abraham, In your offspring all the families of the earth shall be blessed. For you first, God raised up his servant and sent him to bless you by turning each of you from your evil ways. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Response for your psalm. Your response, O Lord, our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. O Lord, our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. O Lord, our God, how glorious is your name over all the earth. What is man that you should be mindful of him, or the son of man that you should care for him? O Lord, our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. You have made him little less than the angels, and crowned him with glory and honor. You have given him rule over the works of your hands, putting all things under his feet. O Lord, our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. All sheep and oxen, yes, and the beasts of the field, the birds of the air, and fishes of the sea, and whatever swims the paths of the seas. O Lord our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The disciples of Jesus recounted what had taken place along the way and how they had come to recognize him in the breaking of bread. While they were still speaking about this, he stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. But they were startled and terrified, and thought that they were seeing a ghost. Then he said to them, Why are you troubled? And why do questions arise in your hearts? Look at my hands and my feet, that it is I myself. Touch me and see, because a ghost does not have flesh and bones, as you can see I have. 
And as he said this, he showed them his hands and his feet. Well, they were still incredulous for joy and were amazed. He asked them, have you anything here to eat? They gave him a piece of baked fish. He took it and ate it in front of them. He said to them, These are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you, that everything written about me in the law of Moses and in the prophets and Psalms must be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures, and he said to them, Thus it is written that the Christ will suffer and rise from the dead on the third day, there, and that repentance for the forgiveness of sins would be preached in his name to all nations, beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, as we are in the Easter week, these are the days Jesus appears again and again to his apostles. Today's Gospel clearly says the apostles of Jesus, they recognized him when he was breaking the bread. Jesus' presence always gives them consolation, courage, encouragement to move forward from, from fear to proclaiming the gospel, from fear to telling the truth. In today's first reading we see Peter and John and others, they all were able to speak the truth that Jesus was crucified wrongfully. Jesus was blamed wrongfully. Jesus was trapped without understanding his divinity. So it is important to note these apostles were afraid of facing Jewish authorities. Today they all gathered together in the Solomon's portico, according to the Acts of the Apostles, today's first reading. In today's Gospel, Jesus wants to be with his Apostles because they are terrified. They are scattered. They were hiding. They, some of them went back to their former works, fishing. But the appearance of Jesus unites them. The appearance of Jesus makes them understand that he is always with them. As we are in the season of Easter and facing a lot of difficulties, crises, in the midst of this epidemic and pandemic, so we have to understand God's presence is always with us. He wants to give us courage and strength. He wants to give us unity. He wants to give us peace. In today's Gospel, Jesus says, Peace be with you. The same peace with all, each and every one of you. May the peace of Christ be united. us. May give us calm. May give us strength. May always give us to recognize Jesus. Intercessions. We acclaim the love that saves us. Lord Jesus Christ, Word of God, you took on our humanity that you might raise us to share in your divinity. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Lord Jesus Christ, you bore hunger, thirst, and weariness that you might grant rest to our souls. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Lord Jesus Christ, you accepted mockery and derision that you might restore him lost humanity to dignity. 
we pray to the Lord. Lord Jesus Christ, you receive bitter wounds that you might make us whole. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. In today's Mass, let us specifically pray for the repose of the souls of Paul Strzok, Priscilla Pino, Sarah Garnishian, and Rigo Berto Dina Flores. For their souls resting in God's peace, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. In today's Mass, let us also pray for the special intention of the cure of family for all the blessing upon them in this Easter season. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Lord Jesus Christ, you reveal to your disciples the mystery of your humanity, risen and glorified. Grant us the eyes of faith to see your presence in all those who are your body, you who live and reign with God the Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, to become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the wine and work of human hands, to become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for the good and good of all his church. Graciously be pleased, O Lord, to accept the sacrificial gifts we offer joyfully both for those who have been reborn and in hope of your increased help from heaven, 
through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to love you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb, who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying he has destroyed our death, and by rising restored our life. Therefore all come with Paschal joy. Every land, every people excels in your praise. Even heavenly powers, with the angelic host, sing together the anointing hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the founder of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, he entered willingly into his passion. He took bread, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more gave it thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Myron, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep, the hope of the resurrection, all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co to eternal life, may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen.
At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from your free evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously, grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, to live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. On whose name, Queen Holy Spectata Mundi, Misere Nobi, On whose name, Queen Holy Spectata Mundi, Misere Nobi, On whose name, Queen Holy Spectat Amundi, Dona Nobis Pace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Let us pray. Hear, O Lord, our praise, that this most holy exchange 
by which you have redeemed us, may bring your help in this present life and ensure for us eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Alleluia, Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, Alleluia.